When he is not in his garage or not testing one of his rolling cars, Mishemi, a veteran driver in the Kenyan rolling scene, never misses what to do. Mushemi has had a colorful spell in his career since his childhood. From being a veterinary officer, hospital secretary, senior marketing officer, businessman and a passion trolley driver, all was well for him until he was diagnosed with a stomach tumor. By the time of the diagnosis, he had carried the killer cancer cells for four years, just years after his brother had succumbed to cancer. So like uh, six or so doctors I did like six endoscopies and nobody could know they, they were giving me the same medicine unfortunately me and a friend of mine called Dr. Mangali were given the same medicine <coughs> and uh, when uh, I went to see another doctor Divani at uh, Aga Khan who had, I had known when she was in London she just did one endoscopy and told me that I have a tumor which is quite old and since they already take the biopsy they have to do an operation but even with the painful discovery, it did not dampen his resolve to carry on with what he loved most, rallying. After my operation, in eight months I was back and I came top ten. I was number eight in Eldoret immediately in 2008, uh, the rally that followed. A lot of people told me, don't race, you get colds, you'll do ABCD. But I have never experienced those. And when they come, I, 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 I push through. What happens is it has never, the cancer, Thing. I'm going now through my 15th chemotherapy and it has never let me down, it has never made me not do what I want. Baba Shiro, as he's commonly referred to, picked himself up when many expected him to concentrate on his health instead of rejoining motorsport. In fact, his push for reforms in the Kenya motorsport arena grew. To him, it's forever. And to show that despite the setbacks he has had to fight against, he uses his experience to inspire another young drivers. So far, he has 32 rally cars in his name and he has even influenced his son and daughter into liking the speedy cars. Through the years, he has been in and out of the country for chemotherapy treatment in India, where he says the process is cheaper than in Kenya. Medicine I'm taking now. Here is will cost me about seven hundred thousand. It only costs you two hundred and fifty thousand in India. So you see the difference. It's 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 astronomical. And I know another medicine I was taking which cost four hundred bob and here is twelve thousand shillings. I eat and after ten, fifteen minutes I throw up. I eat. I don't stop eating. So it's a that positive attitude. It is that positive mentality. Mentoring of young people who love speed has not been a success and according to him, many of the young drivers are impatient and thus end up cutting short their careers through dangerous show-off. And I see how people drive. To tell you the truth, I get angry. I get so annoyed that to theorize that people don't know at all. People are so ignorant about vehicles, cars, driving skills, what to do. And you pity them, yeah. And uh, the young men who are racing around town with a few stickers on their cars and uh, killing themselves or maiming themselves, they are both depriving the economy in this country, talent and digital age. And uh, they just see Fast and Furious and don't realize those vehicles in Fast and Furious are just toys. With what started as a childhood passion for motion of cars, Ben Mushemi could not be deterred by an ailment which is expensive to cure. When you are in this kind of condition, the biggest healing part and the biggest medicine that you can get, right, is BM, I call it BM. This is mental medicine, right? Unless you have that positive thing that you want to do, it is not possible. Even if they try their level best to select, you will not get there. Because the body and the computer, which is called your brain, is the healing bit of everything and that is what keeps me going and despite all he promised to keep his motorsport fire burning if you wake up and you open your eyes use your eyes there are people without eyes if you have your hands and they're moving stop begging work 
had. I, I'm a person who goes to the office at six and leave at around midnight. I don't have after five life myself. My work is just work. When I have time, I do. If I my legs are walking, I'm moving. I drive and walk. Nicholas Mudimba Katian.